Mainara da Silva and her mother, Sandra, live in one of the poorest corners of São Paulo's biggest slum, Paraisópolis, home to around 100,000 people. Neither woman has a job. They make a little money for the family by collecting aluminum cans for recycling. Counting a small social grant Mainara receives for her daughter, they make about 65 US dollars per month to cover the needs of the seven family members who live in this one-bedroom home. Every day I go out to look for work, and people always say they are going to call me. I hope that will happen someday. In the meantime, all I can do is collect the aluminum cans or beg for money. It's enough to buy milk for the children and rice and beans for us. But sometimes we don't have money for the cooking gas and need to use firewood instead. Brazil is out of recession, but the job market remains weak, with unemployment above 13 percent, and it's particularly hard for the poorest and less educated to find work, even in the informal economy. According to a consultant survey using official data, the number of Brazilians living in extreme poverty, defined as making less than $1.90 per day, increased last year. Countrywide, the number of those in extreme poverty rose more than 11 percent. In São Paulo's metropolitan region, the country's economic capital, this number shot up 35 percent. The area is very big, and within it, we also have different social classes. So people in the central areas of the slum, local entrepreneurs, are doing better, but those living in the poorest areas are being hit the hardest. There are many unschooled workers who lost their jobs. We noticed the problem through the increased demand for assistance from the community association. People ask for food, for help with transportation, for cooking gas. What happened in 2017 is that in Brazil, the recovery of the economy didn't actually bring people out of their poverty situation because they actually tried to pay, place themselves into the labor market through informal work. And the informal work doesn't provide you the same income. So now we have the same level as, of poor as we used to have in 2010, 2011. So we went back um, around seven years in terms of poverty. Economic recovery and growth are essential to get people out of poverty. But as yet, Brazil's income inequality, among the highest in the world, has only widened. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.